the world? It is your friendly neighborhood Slipgator here, hanging out today, doing stuff and things on the Hermitcraft Amplified server. I hope you guys are having a good day. I'm having a really good day. Just a little puckered on the edge of the cliff here. Why wouldn't you start off with a little pucker? We got a thumbs up for puckers. <laughs> so no, uh, I want to tell you guys, man. I want to tell you, all of you guys. The last couple episodes asked for a little bit of like action, and you guys delivered in spades. It's been unbelievable, man. Two vanilla videos again. We got like 2,400 likes. The last video is up to 2,100 likes. I'd love to see if we can keep the trend going. Let's see if we can get 2,000 likes on this video, too. And thank you guys so much for all your support on Stuff and Things. All right, let's get to what we're going to be working on today. Starting off, man, one of the first things I wanted to work on was this system right here. This thing. So we built this great thing, this great minecart elevator. Very simple, kind of inexpensive as far as, you know, for an elevator that goes as high as it does and as fast as it does. But the quick drop, this thing right here, super slow, right? Like, this doesn't work. So, and of course, we could ender pearl off or we could build another quick drop or something like that. But a couple of you guys made the comment that why don't we use trap doors instead of uh, ladders right here to hold the minecarts up and then we could just fall right down and it would be a lot faster. And I think that that would work. I've never, I haven't done that before. I haven't seen it done in that way. Oh, we got to reclaim all those ladders too. Oh my God, look at that. It's like a ladder farm. So, um, so yeah, a couple of you guys were making that suggestion. So I thought, you know, I'm not really sure exactly how it works. So why don't we go into a test world and go and check it out? And here we are in my test world, or one of my new test worlds, where I built the compact storage pods, and I built the new mock-up for the sheep farm and all that stuff. But I built this guy real quick. It's not super big, but I did it with the um, with the trap doors. So I want to check out how this is going to work. Works good. And we're clear. So we can get up and all that. So let's go ahead and make sure that our game mode is... Oh, wait. Hold on. Can we fly? Yes. All right. Hold on. Slash game gamo mode zero bam so now we're in survival mode so if we were just to walk down here it should it should go ahead and stop us i'm interested to see can we fall Ooh, all right so we can hit the lip we can hit the lip of the minecart thing all right so that's the thing and then let's just go ahead and fall down and see how that ladder does for us oh okay it stopped us we didn't die all right just the one ladder is going to work let's test it again all the way from the top here and take a look and see how this works so if we just walk straight off Oh, chink in the armor, Ted. All right, so we gotta change, we gotta change that up a little bit. Let's go ahead and pop over here. Let's grab this stuff real fast. Let's get a ladder. Oh, give me a ladder. All right, let's get a. Oh wait, that's why. Hold on. Let's go like this. Let's get a ladder. Let's stick two ladders in there. Let's go back into survival, and let's go ahead to the top now and see if that two ladder thing. I bet you that'll fix it up. Let's go ahead and test it out. So as long as you hold forward, so you gotta hold forward when you go through, so you know, so you don't like accidentally hit one of the trap doors. But I think if you, even if you were to like fall here, you gotta, you gotta hold forward. Ooh, I think that, that did it. I feel like it was pretty close. I don't know. I wonder if it goes even higher if the two ladder deal wouldn't work for us either. Let's test it one more time. All right, it seems to be good. Let's build it a little bit bigger and see if the two ladder deal doesn't work if we go like super big. And we're back, and I've extended it up. Right now, we're on Y4. Let's go ahead and fly up to the top. I do believe I got a little bit over 100 blocks high. So I think that should be a good test. We should be fine to test the two-ladder deal. And just make sure that we're not going to die if we use the two-ladder deal. So let's head up here. How high are we? One, At least 104 is where we want to be. All right, good. So we're good to go with that. Let's go ahead and switch back into survival. Let's go. Oh, man, the pucker is real. Let's go over on this side, and let's fall down here. Let's see what happens. Oh, baby, the two ladder deal works. All right, sweet. So that just means that now we got to go back into the new land on the Hermitcraft server and fix up um, the the quick drop there and change everything over from ladders to minecarts or la from ladders to trapdoors. Great. All right, I'm going to get that done in little BRBs. And we're back, and I've made the adjustments to the super elevator thing and doodler. Let's go ahead and test it out. Let's see how this is going to work here. So uh, I haven't tested it yet. I went all the way up. I did all the things. It was nighttime when I came down, so we got to go up. Now, I think this is higher than 100 blocks. Why 85? And let me see here. We're passing 180. All right, so it's about 110 blocks or something like that. So let's go ahead and take a look here. Let's go ahead and let's do it. Oh, 
Oh my god, it worked! <laughs> wow, we started going really fast there at the end. That was a little bit scary. There was a slight pucker there. I feel like that was probably about a 28%, yeah, maybe 22% pucker. But uh, yeah, this thing's working. This is awesome. This is really great. So we have a great way to get up and down now. Um, why? Who knows? We're going to build something up here at some point. So let's go ahead and pop up inside of here. I think that the next thing, one of the next things I want to do today is get this tunnel taken down. Um, that tunnel? <laughs> that island taken down. We don't really need it. Um, and we're up so high. Um, I mean, we could build on it, but it just kind of is a, a bit more of an eyesore than anything else. So I'll also right over here, I think, we've got our ladders. So let's go ahead and we'll just pop these guys off. And then I'm going to go up there and take out that uh, island. And uh, yeah, then I'll be our beast, peeps. And we're back. And I have made not an island. It is gone. The island is gone. And so that is the thing that happened. Um, <laughs> but you'll never know. You would never know it. I guess it's video evidence. But then also down here, you know, one of the other things, some comments some people have been leaving is that we should start making like some pathways, some walkways and stuff and things like that should be going on in this place. And you know what? I think it would make it look a lot better, a lot more like, you know what I mean? Like what we're trying to do is it's almost like make a, I don't know if I want to use the word city. I guess it's like a little city. I don't want, I don't know if city, I don't want to say town, because I don't think a town is as good as a city. But I don't want to say city, because I feel like that's a little too big. Uh, but you understand what I'm saying. <laughs> we need some pathways, man. That's the point. So um, I started doing some of the aesthetic stuff and things. Just covering some of this up. There used to be, you wouldn't even know it. There used to be a cave over here um, that went down to where the uh, pinwheel is down underneath there. And we're just covering up some of this area, just getting it ready to make our pathways. So I figured we'd do that, make a couple of paths. Um, but like as far as paths go, really what we need is kind of like a maybe a grand staircase up to, or I don't know how grand it'll be, but some sort of a staircase up to the fulcrum, coming down maybe into this area here, then do like an intersection over to the mine area, um, something that a walkway that goes up there to our new elevator, maybe um, a little path that goes out to the maze balls. So some stuff and things like that, because for right now, that's all we've got. I mean, we have I have some plans to get some other buildings done. Um, maybe doing a little bit of an enclosure around where our little cactus farm is. You know what? I haven't checked on this thing in a while. Let's go down here really quickly and take a look at it. Let's do oh, squirt over there and just see. How is this bad boy doing? Oh, you know, it's not bad. Like, it works. It works. No chunk loaders like in Feed the Beast, so it takes a little bit longer. But we got ourselves a little bit of cactus. That ain't bad. Oh, man, did that island look cool over there, too. It looks all floaty now, but if it loads in, you'll see, like, it's not. Load in. Oh, hello, rabbit butt. There's a little rabbit butt. Are you going to load in? Maybe it won't load in for us. Oh, my God. Does that island look amazing? We Maybe we picked the wrong island. No, we didn't. We, we picked the right island. That's really cool over there, too. But All right, so I'm going to do a little bit of work on the walkways. This place is starting to really take shape, man. There's all sorts of cool stuff here. You know, one of the other projects I want to get done, too, I never really liked this platform. I think it's great that we have, like, the Ender Pearl launcher over by the gateway that squirts down and, and squirts onto this thing. But I feel like this needs a little bit more as well. So, um, yeah, anyway, going to get this landscaping done and get started on a little bit of path action. And we're back! And I got a bunch of landscaping done. It's always tough to like show off landscaping as progress for an LP, but um, we did get a bunch done. So it happened. It's hard to see, but this is all flat now. It's definitely different, you know what I mean? There used to be a big cave over here. There's no cave over here now. There used to be a big thing. So it's all amazing and crazy. So here, now we, uh, we just got back from lunch. I just had a little bit of lunch. I made a little bit of Mexican for lunch. And it was really great. So, but anyway, anyway, so um, over here, I we were talking about it before. I said grand staircase, and when the words came out of my mouth, I got scared really quickly because I was like, "Oh my god, did I just say I was going to do something grand?" Because I mean, how, what does that even mean? Can I even live up to it? Who knows? But um, I think we can. And then I kind of was thinking we didn't want to do something uh, air quotes grand uh, because I thought maybe it would be too big. But then. I thought to myself, self, why wouldn't we? And I started digging it out, and I think it's it's starting to look really good already. I really like it. So let's just grab a little bit of diorite, like so, just for some of these side bits. But um, yeah, so we got the staircase done right over here. I think that it's going to look really good. Um, we're going to go ahead and use quartz. Now, let me see how wide this bad boy is. If we start from here, two, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. 
21, 22, 23. So 23 times 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So around uh, 227? Wait, no. 207? Yeah, 207 slabs divided by 6, 4, 6, 12, 18, three and a half stacks ish of uh, the quartz stairs. So that's quite a bit. It's quite a bit of quartz stairs. Um, I'm going to go ahead and start laying them out. I think we got enough quartz to get this done. It's just as far as the staircase goes. I'm also thinking about possibly putting some sort of a water effect in the center. So instead of having stairs the entire way down, like right about in a this early fashion here, there might be a center rail with some sort of water effect or something like that. I think that might look cool. we got to also kind of figure out what the sides are going to be like, especially right here where we have this wall. Um, I thought about maybe just cutting this down a little bit more. I don't know. I might be able to, I might be able to landscape around this or something. Not quite exactly sure yet, but I wanted to show you guys a little bit of progress. And I will be our bees, peeps. And we're back and the big reveal. Look, the thing is there. The thing. And but the big reveal. Da, 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 Star Wars. Uh, I mean, Star Trek. Wow, that was. <laughs> All right, so uh, let's start over. And we're back, and look, the thing's right there, and the big reveal. Song that is not attached to any sort of sci fi series. Victory. So we have made a ginormous stairway thing. And as I came up here to look at this, I did, I did, I will tell you, I snuck a little bit of a peek before I came up. And it's starting to look, you know, the new land is starting to look like a thing. We got some balls. We got the fulcrum. We got just, you know, it's coming along. And so I'm excited about that. Let's go ahead and let's just use this. We'll just squirt it down over here so we can kind of see what's going on. Ooh, man. That was like pro pearl throw right there, buddy. Holy crap -o. So just did a staircase right here. Um, I edited, sculpted this. You know what? I think we feel, I feel like we need one right there. That's a lot better. It looks a little bit more natural now. But I sculpted that mountain down, that little hill down, and kind of just made it look like a natural thingy doodle. We did our water effect like I wanted in the center here. I really like it. I think this is really great, just like this. If you wanted to kill yourself for some reason, you have a great spot right there that you could drown. Can't get out. Everything's dark. And we're back. Um, and so I think, it came, I think it came out really good. Um, I wanted to leave the grass up here. I, I like that. I kind of like that there's a little grassy area right in here. I don't want to add, like, plants or anything like that. Um, but for now, I, I do like that um, in that way. So then I'm trying to think about... I was trying to after think about kind of like what we're going to do for, like, paths or stuff like that. We could do, like, a circle or maybe some sort of a... I don't know, a thing down here, too. Where there's, like, maybe, like, a semicircle that comes around like so. Uh, and then has some walkways off of it. But um, for now, I'm really digging it. I'm liking it quite a bit. So that's a thing. We got that going on. We got this thing finished up. Now the quick drop's good to go. We got a couple other things, or at least one other thing I think we're going to do today, too. And we're back, and we are here at Hermit Hills. Oh, look at this! What is this? This new portal has become a thing. Let us go over and see the... It's not here. It's not in the list. It's not on the portal list. Oh, there it is right there. Hermit Hills Central. I like that. It's like an island with a big spiky nipple thing. I don't know. I guess. Oh, man. When Azuma did, Azuma did a video of making this stuff, and then he was talking about the crown hall thing, and he like didn't see that it was like a crown hall. Um, and now I feel like maybe I'm not seeing what the Hermit Hills Central portal is. Let's go through it, and then maybe we'll see. Maybe we'll be like, oh, that looks exactly like that. Um, maybe, maybe, when this thing comes in, yeah, that's it, right? That's the spike thing? Maybe? Perhaps? So, the whole reason that I came back here is actually I wanted to get a look at Crown Hall, and we haven't been around in a while. We've been over at the new land, we haven't been here. Look at this amazing land that we've created, all of us hermits. The hermits are so amazing. All the different buildings and stuff like that looks so great. Look at Zoljin's castle, so OP. It's the op castle of all the op opiest op OPest castle of all the op castles. But um, I wanted to come over uh, and get a look at Crown Hall. Because I want to do something like Crown Hall at that pedestal that we fly up when we do our, our Ender Pearl throw. 
I want to do something like it, but like not exactly like it, just like similar so that the architecture matches. So it's almost like this is a piece of that, that you know, alien civilization. Um, and we'll get the crown hall. We'll have a piece of that back at the new land too. But I think we're going to do it with a little bit of blue glass instead. It's already on there. And I think instead of having, uh, what, eight... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, instead of having eight, we're gonna only have four of the spire things. And then, what are you doing, man? I'm gonna name you uh, Bruce. See you later, Bruce. We're only gonna have four of the spires, and um, and yeah. So I'm gonna head back over to the uh, the new land, and then try to like get a little bit of that done, like maybe at least one of them, and then that way I can show you kind of what my thoughts are. Also, something I haven't really taken a look at since I've been over here um, is that there's a ghast farm here now, which I'm super afraid of. I don't really want to play around with it at all. It's up there. I do believe Tango and Impulse have designed this thing, and uh, I'm quite frightened. There's also ghostly light right here. Look at this ghostly light. There's no hole in the bedrock. It's this mysterious light that exists in its mysterious way. But anyway, there's a gas farm up there, and I'm very afraid to go and visit it. Maybe one day, if we need tears, we will. Um, all right, but for now, back to the new land. And we're back, and I got some of this freehand stuff and things done. I'm trying to get a little bit of an idea how this is going to look. Now, the weird thing about doing this this time is that it's so much smaller that the scale, like, the, the crown hall looks better because it's bigger. It's harder to do when it's smaller. Like, it just doesn't make quite as much sense. So, we're getting there, though. We're getting there. So, what I decided to do is just do the diagonals. So, the crown hall's got eight, like, fins. This is going to have four fins, one on each side. Now, some of these, I kind of, they went out longer than other ones. This one kind of gets, it's stubby because it's, the rest of it would be underground. So, we got our four fins down here like so, right? And then up top, I started to, to develop this piece. Now, if we take a look at it from up top of the fulcrum, it'll make a little bit more sense. Let's see if we can get up there. No, yes. Oh, crap. We'll call crap. Uh, perfect trajectory. Angle of the sun sh something. No, not so great. So we'll do it the old-fashioned way. Nailed it. All right, so up here... You can see it makes a little bit more sense. And we have four of them. They'll be, you know, it'll look a lot different. And then also, um, really should start putting some of this quartz uh, slabs down on the tops of these pieces here and on the bottoms of there and um, all along this piece right here too where that is. So you can see, like, if we squirt down here, let's go ahead and get our dirt on the bar. Nothing I like better than pillaring with dirt. So like this, this will start to give it a little bit more of a little pop. It's going to be popping now popping ready hold on bam and now it's popping so we can actually add some of this on together <clears throat> pardon me and uh we'll see how this all looks actually you know what we'll do we'll go right up huh and then we'll pop some of these guys down as we're coming down and let me see here like so like so and then that's gonna be it for over here uh can i get back up there no Ah, nailed it. Zero puckers. I was completely confident. So, can we get that guy? All right, we got that guy like so. And then what I've had to do, doing it in this organic style is really not easy. Um, when you do it like that, when you make something that's more organic and less like, I don't know, it's not about the numbers, it's not like geometric, it just gets a little bit more difficult for me. You know who's really good at that stuff is Zombie Cleo. She is so good at like freehand and stuff like that. In her, one of her more recent videos, she did like a dragon, like this crazy dragon thing. Um, and it's just all made out of glass and it's absolutely unbelievable. Um, just, just, just crazy, just crazy good. So, oh, uh, man, we fell down. All right. I just want to get this last piece done with you guys so that we can... Is there one up there? Already got that guy. All right. So I just want to get this on, and then we can pop over back to the fulcrum and take a look again. I think it's going to look a lot better. So let's go ahead and almost... Bam. Nailed it. Can't be stopped. And now we will depillar. Successful depillaring. Fulcruming and 
the big reveal see there you go just a little bit that really changed it for me like now i really like the way that it looks um now the organicness of it is kind of weird because i had to make like a a diagram in order to make sure i could recreate it so like this guy's 11 blocks the distance between this and this is five blocks this guy's seven blocks that guy's five blocks this guy's 18 blocks that guy's 12 blocks that guy's five blocks so i had to make like a little diagram so i know how it looks what it looks like so i can recreate it and that's the next part What's my FOV on? God, this really is, f seems weird to me. Video settings. V-Boss. v, -boss. v -bows? I love the v -bows. I don't see... I don't know. Anyway, it just looks a little bit weird because we're not, like, sitting... We're not perpendicular. But any hoozle, like I was saying, now it's time to recreate this three more times. BRBs, peeps. And we're back, and we have we've absolutely done stuff here in the last couple of days, peeps. We we've, we've done stuff. Stuff and things are happening. This is the thing now. It is a strange looking thing. It is Crown Hall esque, but it is a thing. Let us go ahead and test it out. Perfect, almost amazing. Um, the yeah. Let's go ahead and test it out. And uh, oh, nailed it. So, looking a lot like the Crown Hall, we got this going on over here. Let's go ahead and head up on top of the fulcrum so we can see. All right, here we are. So yeah, about 10 stacks of ender pearls later, this is what we got. It's very symmetrical. All the things are, are measured out and everything's looking really good. If we pop down, maybe like right here, we can take a look at it from down here. It's good, like it's good. It's good, but it's missing something. There we go. A little bit of color. A little bit of color just made it pop, man. I'm liking it. I like it quite a bit. I think it looks really, really good. I like that. We add a little bit more of the blue glass right up in here along the sides like that. We did it for all, of course, all the different edges here. And I think that added something really... It, it did. It added something to it. It made it kind of tie in with all the rest of the architecture that we have here because it is all that, like, it's all the double white... You know, we got the diorite, we got the quartz, and then we got the blue. And that, that really tied it in. Let's go ahead and head up to the top of the observatory. I don't even know. This thing, whatever this is, let's go and observe things up top. We don't have to call it an observation thingy doodler, but we can just call it a thing, and we're going to do it. And then here we are. All right, let's go ahead up here. Let's take a look at what it looks like. See? Oh, stuff and things are happening, peeps. It's coming along. We got the new stairway we did today. We did all that landscaping. We got this thing fixed up. We got the tower fixed up as well. But that is going to be it for today, man. We had a huge amount of different projects that we did. Um, so, yeah, and I hope that you had fun doing it. If you did, make sure you hit the thumbs up button to show your support. Oh, for stuff and things, feel free to share forever as you see fit. Oh, I'm puckered. May the stuff and things be with you. I'm not going to fall, am I? No! <laughs>